Hey guys and welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to attempt to redesign the WhatsApp logo. Now the current WhatsApp logo isn't the worst thing out there, however they've been in the news recently announcing that they're going to be adding new features for businesses looking to sell through the platform. Now we've already seen this on things like Instagram where you can actually purchase products through business pages. So with this new business focus, together with the fact that they've not actually updated their logo in a good few years, they're still using the old phone icon which is starting to look a little bit dated and a little bit irrelevant now, we thought this would be a fun project to look at. Now do remember this is just a bit of fun, it's not a real brief or anything, but we thought it would be interesting for you guys to see our process on a project like this. So let's get started and show you what we would do. Normally we would have a full brief from the client to dissect and really understand what they're after, but in this case we're just going off what we think would work best for this new direction they're taking. So the first thing we always like to do is take down a list of keywords associated with the brand and the direction they're going in and just anything else, obviously if there's a brief there may be certain aspects they mention, just really anything related to the brand, even things like colours, so obviously with the WhatsApp brand uh, they use this bright green that's very recognisable. I think when anyone thinks of WhatsApp that colour automatically springs to mind. So that's the kind of thing we are going to want to keep with our redesign. But taking down notes and keywords like this is a great idea to begin with as it can really help with the research stage of the process. The next thing we always like to do is jump onto a website like Pinterest. There's also things like Dribble or Behance that are very design focused and you can quickly gather inspiration and ideas. You can also just try googling things so again with these keywords just try googling your keywords and trying to find any related design based on these keywords and it's all we're trying to do here is gather some ideas and um, it doesn't have to be anything concrete it's really just to get thinking about the kind of direction we can take a design so in this case we've created a private board on our Pinterest you can see there's not even that many ideas in here we're obviously just doing this relatively quickly but we've just done searches for things like W letter marks, um, speech bubble designs, connectivity. So the big thing with this rebrand that we want to achieve is to get this idea of connectivity. It seems like with this announcement they are wanting to appeal potentially to a broader market. It's not just going to be your everyday user that's just messaging their friends and family. They're also wanting to bring in more business. Uh, they mentioned the e-commerce side of things. So I think with this redesign we want something a little bit more all-inclusive and a little bit more generic potentially. That's why we have opted for doing these kinds of searches and taking these kinds of keywords into consideration. The next thing we like to do is go back to the sketchbook and start sketching out some rough ideas based on our research here. So hopefully by this point you might have a few ideas floating around in your head of the kind of thing that you'd like to create. So this is a great idea and I can't stress enough how important it is to sketch beforehand. It's a really great way just to get what is in your head out on paper. You don't have to be good at drawing or sketching, I'm certainly not, but I do this every time because it's just a great way to quickly and easily get the kind of ideas from your head onto a page and then it's much easier when you're in Illustrator or whatever program you're using to design to start building up these designs. Speaking of Illustrator, we are going to jump into it now to start our design process. We have a file set up already and do be aware that you can download the exact working file that we have created from the link in the description below. Now obviously just now it is empty but the file that will be linked to the download will be our final working file so it will have all of our concepts through to the final logos that we create here. So just if you want to have a look at the way we've done certain things or you want to play around with some of the elements yourself feel free to download that and have a go. If you want to try doing this rebrand as well we'd love to see what you come up with so do let us know get in touch comment as we'd really like to see what other people think of this. In our Illustrator document we actually have the current WhatsApp logo. We are actually able to download this from their brand resources page so this is actually their official logo and it's actually in vector format as well which is handy. So the first thing we always like to do is look at the logo type so the the text within the logo and actually I already really like this text. I think it's um, it's very clean. Some people might think it's a little bit characterless but 
but I think it does a really good job. It's more the icon that we are going to be looking at today. So as we mentioned, they are taking this slightly more business focused approach. It's going to be a bit more all inclusive. They're still using this phone icon, which actually is quite outdated now. Um, it's an old phone for a start. Everyone's on mobiles. Uh, people are even using WhatsApp on other devices like computers and tablets, which is probably going to be a bigger thing for them moving forward as well. So I think this phone, it's just becoming a little bit irrelevant and we want to try and update this. So like we say, the, the logo type is good. I might actually copy this over to our artboard. This text is nice. It's very nicely spaced and kerned and everything. So there's not really anything we would have to do to that. So we can potentially just use the text that they are already using. However, I will just grab my type tool and we'll have a look at a few more fonts. So I'm just going to basically make a few copies of this text and we'll just apply different fonts to each copy and then we can kind of contrast and compare each of them, see what's working and what's not. Okay, so we have a few fonts copied out here. Um, they're all fairly similar, you may be thinking. These are all very, very similar sans serif fonts, but you have to remember that this is a tech company. It's meant to be modern and we're not trying to completely redesign the way the whole brand looks. We want to keep this fairly consistent. If anything, it's just going to be a slight update of what they already have. Now, I quite like the A on the first font we've chosen here, the lowercase A. It's slightly more playful. With this one, it's slightly tricky because we're trying to appeal to a wider audience. We want to keep the people who are already using the app, but we also want to attract maybe a slightly more serious business-minded audience as well. So possibly something that's quite chunky with some slightly softer corners, though, could work. So that's why we've got this cross 10 font here that's working quite nicely what we'll do though is potentially come back to this once we've got some icons created and we can just mix and match and see what's working best so from the ideas that we've sketched we're just going to get stuck in and just go through each one of our chosen ideas just to see what works and what doesn't now you're always going to have some ideas that just do not work when you get onto screen even if they look good in a sketch sometimes they just don't translate so just be aware of this don't get too hung up on on certain things. If one of your concepts just isn't working, then move on to something else. Okay, so for the actual process of putting these designs together, we are gonna have to speed through this. This whole process, even for just one round of quite simple logos, this has still taken us hours and hours to do. And to talk you through every little detail that we're doing when we're creating these would just be too long for a YouTube video like this. Now, if you are interested in any of the techniques we've used here, or you have any questions about anything that we've created, in this process feel free to ask us any questions in the comments down below or if you'd like to actually learn every technique that we use within this process do check out our graphic design course that we'll be launching you can use the link in the description or just visit graphicdesignerpro.com for more information now to summarize what we are doing here it's really just a case of trying to come up with some ideas based on the sketches we've done first and foremost trying different things out a few tips to note when we're doing Doing this is we're constantly creating duplicates of what we're doing so it's a really good practice to get into start with your concept in its simplest form and make a copy and keep just changing it and adapting it just making copies as you go along another thing to note is we are just designing in black and white to begin with now this is something that I was taught and I've stuck to ever since I was told about it is that good logos should always work in just black and white and now that's not to say that that is a hard and fast rule that you have to follow. This is just something that I was told and I've always stuck to. When we're designing a logo really for any brand, you need to think about how it's going to be applied and what it's going to be applied to. So it could be a company that have, you know, branded t-shirts or merchandise. So you need to think about the ways in which the logo is going to be applied and the variations of the logo that would be needed for these applications. So that's why if you can get a logo to work well in just black and white, it's probably probably going to work quite well on most applications. You'll also notice that we are going from one concept to another and then often going back to a previous concept. Quite often you'll go 
and work on something else and then you might even bring elements from one idea into the first idea you were working on it's just the way logo design works and you can come up with some great ideas accidentally almost you know trying certain things out and then realizing that actually it works better in another way that's the beauty of it it's just all about ideation and just developing these concepts but we're almost there with these designs so the next stage will be to add some color and try and bring together some final logo options what I'm going to do now is pick a rough color palette and we'll just start placing some of these icons together with some of the logo type that we've created and just see if we can come up with something that looks vaguely like a logo. As we were saying right at the beginning, the green associated with WhatsApp is quite well known. So I'm just going to eye drop this color. I'm just going to add this lighter green into our swatches. I'll take the darker green as well and then we can always create some gradients and I might also just mix my own as well so I'm going to take it a little bit further up to a blue hue and make this nice and bright with something like this it's really punchy and I'm just going to try moving the hue slider and get a slightly blue tone as well this will work quite nicely with each other and I like this dark blue they're using in the background here I think this could work well for the text potentially on a lighter option I'll maybe create one more just a slightly darker okay so we've got plenty to work with there I'm going to aim to create three logos that can be the, the aim for this so the concepts I think that work the best are I quite like this option here potentially apply the darkest blue I, I made to this and I think it works well just with the white W we can try something else I mean this isn't bad we'll paste it in up here I think that's maybe better grab some of this text over here it's quite rounded this logo option so we'll try this slightly more condensed font called Barlow these are all just free fonts I'm using of course if this was a real logo redesign you'd probably have a much bigger budget to go out and buy some nice premium fonts but for this example I think this will do it's already nicely kerned as well this one and to zoom in I'm might slightly adjust the spacing between the A and the P here. Outline this and I'm just going to give this the dark blue color for this example. So I'm going quite quickly through this just because time is of the essence but this is just giving you a rough idea. Of course all of these logos that we're going to choose could probably get fine-tuned even more and like I say you can spend lots of time on these things but I think for this example this should work well. Still like the white text on the green so I think that's a fairly strong first option uh, could get worked on a little bit more but it will do for this example going to use the original whatsapp text for our next option okay so in terms of color we could do an option where this is all merged together and apply green color potentially give this gradient here let's have a look using the current whatsapp colors it's okay I think I'd like to see a little bit more contrast between the circles and the intersecting dashed lines. Mm, not loving it. It's not quite what I'm after. I think it's almost there. Might try something with a slightly more solid line in this example. So I am obviously working with a limited amount of colours here but that's quite deliberate. I don't want to go too off base from the original brand. So let's drag this down as an option. We'll see how that's sitting. This can always sit a bit more like this. Though just with the way I've set up these backgrounds we'll just make them all a uh, more portrait layout. What I'm going to do is just copy this over over and potentially just invert this instead so we've got white hexagon here and then we'll grab our gradient it will still be set up so that's another potential I'd, I'd feel like this one probably does need a bit more work here for this example it will do okay so moving on again I'm gonna select my type first I'll go with the other font I liked which was this one Sophia Pro zoom in might just slightly adjust some of the spacing for a start I'm just going to take the tracking in and that's just going to adjust all of the letters but then I'll just go and adjust the kerning between each individual character and again with more time I would probably customize this text there's always things you can do with text just to give your logos a little bit more of a unique feel okay so I'm just going to outline this the only thing I will do potentially is just make that H the same height as our W and A here. I think that just sits a little bit nicer. It's a little bit more blocked off. 
again i'll maybe go for the actual blue that they're using in their current marketing i like these abstract speech bubbles as well just nice and simple the other one i quite liked was this one up here although i might switch out the letter mark we've used there so what i'll do is just grab this okay so i'm going to opt for the brighter green on this side and again we'll try the blue color on the other side and just see what we're creating and then potentially we apply the gradient to the rest of it. I'm happy to go ahead with this as an option, I think. Again, for the sake of time, there are plenty of other concepts we could have developed further. There's maybe some that you feel would have been much better options, even from within these designs we have here, but for the sake of time, we'll opt for this one. On this one, I might actually keep this darker text and what we do with our icon here, I'm not sure, potentially even just making this the dark color as well and having a slightly flatter option. I still feel that works quite well. We could always apply our gradient to the W, potentially on this one, just for the sake of making them slightly different from one another. We'll choose that bright green. Some interesting options there. Do let us know which one is your favorite or if there were some other concepts that we were working on that you would have rather seen us develop more. This is obviously just a quick, and fun exercise in what could be done. We hope you enjoyed just seeing this process. So there you have our attempt at redesigning the WhatsApp logo. Do let us know in the comments down below which option was your favourite and remember to try downloading our working file and have a go yourself. We'd love to see what you come up with. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and if you haven't already, subscribe for more weekly content. If you'd like to know more about our full graphic design course, visit graphicdesignerpro.com. See you next time. Thank you.